Action News was the first to tell you about these deals that the county executive tried to keep secret. And now a judge has ruled that the county must pay. I find there to be no ambiguity at all. Wayne County Circuit Court Judge Michael Sapala ruled that Robert Ficano must honor the agreements he made with 15 of his top appointees. Last year, the appointees were in line to receive payments as part of an early retirement buyout program, but the county asked them to stay with a written contract that promised they could cash in later. After the seven Action News investigators exposed Turkia Mullen's controversial $200,000 severance deal last fall, Ficano abruptly rescinded the other separation agreements, which some have characterized as severance. Ficano's former deputy CEO Azam Elder said in his January lawsuit that Ficano was trying to hide the truth from the public and concocted a plan to remove the severance agreements from each of the employees' personnel files. So six of the appointees sued Ficano, and today they prevailed in court. The issue before us is whether or not uh, the agreement struck between the parties knowingly and intentionally and voluntarily is binding. And the answer to that question is a clear yes, and the county is bound by the agreement. It's a shame that we had to go to this extent to file a lawsuit. Nobody, of course, nobody wants to um, have to sue their boss and their employer. Um, so I was glad that this, we were able to quickly resolve this. Outside the courtroom, Homeland Security Director James Buford said he would submit his paperwork to retire right away. I won't give him another chance to do this. <laughs> Some of the appointees could walk away with as much as $80,000, and if all 15 cash in, the total comes to about $850,000. Now, the county executive says the payments are not severance and claims they've actually saved the taxpayers millions of dollars. But employment law experts say a separation agreement really is severance. It's really one and the same. Now, also, Action News has learned some county insiders were hoping this story wouldn't make such a splash. Coming up at 6, I'll show you how the county tried to give reporters the slip today. Joanne? Thanks.